What is up YouTube? It is Matty and welcome to this war recap where we are taking two powerhouses of clans and that is Powercock versus playing with Cock. Um, it's actually playing with Cock 2 which is one of the feet, I believe it's either the sister clan or the feeder to playing with Cock um, who are quite known in the war community to say the least. But yeah, awesome matchup here. So I've got a couple, good few, a couple of raids to show you from the Powercock side because I was um, with them in the team. Um, I will be showing the Powercox attacks and not the playing with Cox attacks. So uh, apologies for that if you if you're playing with Cox fans or supporters. Um, but I'm, I'm, it's just the way I roll um, in terms of these sorts of things. It's if, it, if it's like a mixed scrim, it doesn't matter too much. Um, but typically when I do my recordings, you know, I uh, I, I choose I do the show the attacks of the team that I'm with. So. How did the war pan out? Big difference in terms of score, five points, um, considering that uh, Playing With Cock didn't even use two of their attacks. And it comes down to Town Hall 9, unfortunately, on the performance. If you look, both 11s were two-starred on um, by Powercock, and on the other side it was a one-star and a two-star. Um, two Town Hall 10s tripled, myself and Adam, and Optimus and chow done by me on the other on the um other side but then so that's level pegging really we'd got what uh, there was a one star on a town hall 10 versus a one star on a town hall 11 so the top field was quite um even but what happened was quite a few town hall 10s had to dip um so if you see there's a dip there by effie um to keep going through there's a fail um by Adam, which, <laughs> which is a little bit unfortunate, um, and another dip by Effie, and um, what and what you'll see is that we, they just were not not able to clear the nines, and a lot of the tens had to dip, which meant obviously they couldn't go for the extra stars um, up at the top of the field or go for more of the three stars and try and try and do that sort of thing. So, yeah, I th I, my opinion it was the town or nines that lost the war because we're just unable to um, to fully um, clear them. And there have been quite a few changes to Tunnel 9 recently, so, you know, it, it is what it is. But I've chosen a good selection of rays to show in the offensive um, to, to, yeah, to go through. I always try and choose the quirky and the unusual if I can, if they're put there to me. And you'll see here, nice earthquake placement, double freeze, um, sorry, double lightning on each air defence. And two air defences are immediately eradicated from the battlefield. Now, what he's going to do... It's a mini push in with a golem king queen to go and get the enemy queen and the clan castle and the air defense. That's all he needs to get. Nothing too complicated there. And then with three air defenses off the field, he's going to use a couple of hounds to, to sort of tank on that fourth air defense. And then a bucket load of loons. 24. I mean, that is a lot because he's got a lot of defenses that have remained untouched. But because he's eliminated pretty much every air threat um, and with a couple of hounds to sort of tank the other one, he's put himself into a perfect position to just drop loons on almost every single defense on the battlefield. There are four wizard towers left, however, which is always a little bit of a worry when loons are involved, particularly if you haven't got spells to speed them up. Um, but let's see how this all pans out now. Only level 10 heroes as well, which is, again, even more um, impressive that you're able to uh, to drop the threes on, on bases like this. Hounds going into tank, as we can see. Now everything normal there in terms of delivery. Both going in and just a, just a sort of a wave of loons pushing through the base. He's just going to go to do the full circle around, um, finishing on that top cannon, as you can see, and just watch what happens. Yes, the sweeper gets involved a little bit and puts a hindrance near the Tesla farm, which is a little bit of a, you know, a little bit devastating for him. But the loons that's finally getting to those defences and starting to take them down with the hound there um, finally popped, um, but just able to to manage to get all those defences and the last air defence air targeting defence is gone, and there it is, just cleaned up. Oh, it's a strike there! Um, there is a corner Tesla with a giant bomb over there as well. A um, little bit of a troll Tesla, but didn't didn't affect the raid, and it was able to still get away with the three star. So very interesting. Never normally see that amount of loons, or able to get three air defenses straight away like that, particularly with the rise of Goverho that's happened recently. Number twenty five is next with Bear, and we're dipping into a um, it's not a Penta, it's um, a Quad Laloon or a Cold Blooded Laloon, whatever you want to call it, and it's, a, it's again straightforward strategy. All he's got to do. 
is pull the, um, go and get the air defense and the queen as part of the clan castle. But I like what he's doing here. If you if you get if you get it, um, I'll explain it anyway. He's using a single archer all the way at the top of the battlefield to pull the golem. It's not going to kill it. It's just going to get it away. It's a slow, fat unit. Fat unit. Um, it's going to take its time to travel anywhere. So once it's up there, it's got to travel all the way back um, to where his troops are attacking and then drop a hit on them to distract them. But by that time, um, he's clearly hoping to be able to um, have taken down the clan castle. Sorry, taken down the air defense and the queen. So it's a, it's a race against the clock. Uses the rage belt to speed things up. And you can see here it goes. Ed with it gone. All he needs to do now is start dropping his um, Laloon in a systematic way through the base. You can see going for the clockwise approach, um, using his hounds to tank for his loons, a couple of hounds on the first air defence, and then he'll probably throw his third hound on the second air defence, and his fourth hound on the final air defence. Um, <laughs> someone asked me why I left emphatic. Uh, go watch the video is what I'd say to that one. Um, and again, thank you. Um, I left emphatic for a, a few reasons, but I'm not, I don't need to bring that up in this video. This is more of looking at some pretty cool attacks, and yeah, I, li I like seeing Cold-Blooded Laloon. With the final hand sat on top of that air defense, taking the um, the expo damage, the air defense damage, and the arch tower damage, it's giving the loons enough time to push through and finish up the final defenses. Like the fact he's used um, a single loon to distract the wizard tower, that'll stop him doing... Uh, stop it doing all the mass damage and it's taken down with no splash left and a big wad of loons like that he's going to be fine for the cleanup so here it is final expo about to go down i don't think there's any troll teslas on this one so it's just a case of killing the king and then just clearing the rest of the buildings and it all worked out very nicely so great three star by bear good to see a couple of larlins to start off this video um we're going to take a big jump all the way up to 13 now let's go and have a look snake eyes is next Mass Valk, or um, a lot, a lot of Valkyries, um, basically. And what is was it? What he's doing is combining a, a lot of Valkyries with a Queen Walk, which is a good mix. Valkyries being massively overpowered at the moment at both Town Hall Nine and Town Hall Ten, um, they are you're able to just wreck bases with them. So breaking them in the first couple of layers you saw there. Going to probably want to do with a heal spell soon. Uh, poisons there as well, just to slow the units down. Um, and he's gonna, they're, they're just going to start melting through the base. That's the idea, while the queen walks around the outside and starts taking some point defences and key defences down on her path. King's going in the core. There is a, um, a hound in the CC. But because both Valkyries, Golems and K King, none of them target the hound, he's just going to be able to let it just do the minimal damage that it does to his units while he just carries on with the raid as if nothing's actually there um, meanwhile the queen is doing a nice walk she's still going and enjoying it I guess um, and she's coming across a lot of point defense which is why it's such a strong walk because she's come, she's taken down just a lot of damage from the base giving those Valkyries extra chance to just keep pushing through and taking down the rest and I really like this attack because it was just a nice mix of um, of two very powerful things in Clash of Clans. Queen Walks have been nerfed recently as well, so it's always good to see when they are used um, and how they're used. But with combining that with a Valkyrie, you can see it's just an absolute massacre to the base and just loads of troops left to, to, um, to, to finish it up. So big shout out to Snake Eyes there for dropping an awesome three star and making an easy decision to include this in the video. Rakuda up next, and I think it's a straight up go Verho. Um, no Queen Walk Vaho. Don't know if there's a golem in the clan castle. Um guess we'll find out. I think there might be. So the route he's gonna take her is anti-clockwise, so she's gonna start heading up towards twelve o'clock. Um if you think of it as a clock face. Um but there is quite a few storages she's gotta get through, so she's gonna take her sweet time in getting there. Um I don't know if I can't remember how far he waits before he decides, but it's See, I don't like this sort of walk because there's not much value there. And when I say not much value, I mean there's not many point defences um, you're going to take down on the on the walk, route of the walk. So he's got to find a way to break in as well. Otherwise, it's going to cause him some issues. But the way what he's done, clearly, is use the golem up to um, start tanking, using wizards to funnel and breaking in that golem. 
Um, the Queen's decided to break in, but because the wall break is broken, she, they've they're going to um, they're all going to go in the same point. So what's actually going to happen here, if he'd, she'd hurry up and take down that um, air defence, is the healers are going to help out the Valkyries and the King, which is where you th then then this strategy becomes more um, poignant, I guess, or more um, viable when you've got healers that can help out Valkyries and King. Um, they're dead. Uh, I mean, they're, they're almost dead already, but. Um, the, the extra just little boost that they're going to offer it's going to make it um, well, look, let's put it this way if you can get a queen walk to take down some point defences take down the clan castle and then meet up to um, I mean, I, I know he met the, the CC with the kill squad on this one but if you can get a queen walk to take down the clan castle potentially a hero take down some point defences and then join up with your valkyries that is in, that can be incredibly potent so a nice example of that here although it wasn't quite as i explained it because um he had to deal with the cc head on which m would have made not helped his valkyries out but end of the raid now we've got a good eight or nine hogs there king queen three valkyries at least left um and wizards to funnel so sorry wizards to clean as well so yeah, ended up with a really nice, comfortable three-star, so shout out to Rakuda. I would like to show number nine, but I've done a feature video on it, because it was awesome. So check that out if you haven't already. Next one we're going to show, I did get the triple, but I recorded that live, um, is Samir dropping down on the Town Hall 10. So I don't like showing Town Hall 10 on Town Hall 9 bullies. But I don't mind showing Town Hall 11 on Town Hall 10 bullies because it's a big part of war. It's not a gimme. Um, things can still go wrong. The, I mean, all you're going to get really offensively is the Warden. Um, in addition, there's no extra spells, no extra troop space. Um, no, Not a huge amount of extra um, troop levels either if you're not even using Witches. So, yeah, the Warden does add a, quite a big help. Um, but... It's it does it's surely it's definitely not a give me so uh, I do like showing still showing eleven on ten dips and, and because it's quite rel still relatively new I guess so rage by down there's quite a lot going to happen now with the queen coming up against a few point defenses expo she will come against the king nice use of poison there to slow the king down so he doesn't get too many attacks off it's going to mean the queen stays nice and high on health which is what he wants still taking down more point defenses. Um, sorry, more um, defense buildings there. He's going to take down that wizard town. It's just um, going to. I was going to say. Well, no, it's two expos now. So he's going to. She's still losing health. Needs to find a way to. In fact, with the one expo stopping, I was going to say he he could have regained health there, but he moved in range of the uh, inferno tower. And here comes the big push. Look, Valkyries and Warden all heading in with the king. Um, needs to find a way to jump deeper through the base somehow or other. The Valks have gone straight through into the core. They're jumping, going to jump through to the next, um, sorry, Inferno Tower. If he'd have had a rage spell there, that would have worked. But he's f healed them outside of the um, Inferno to give them that health back, and that's r and they're there for a little while. So that's really, really going to help him out now. Hogs coming in on the back end, looking strong. Um, the queen's going to break through. The question is, will she break through in time? The wizards have helped out because they've taken one of the point defences, hitting her down, so she's going to be regaining health. And by the time she breaks through, she's going to be laughing. But the rest of the base has just been absolutely decimated. So, huge shout out to uh, Samir here with an absolutely awesome attack. Um, man, it was great. Anyway. We will show two and one at a couple of two stars um, for 11 on 11, for a bit of 11 on 11 action. And here is the first one with their mass Valk strategy. 19 Valkyries there. I can't remember if the, what's in the CC. We're about to find out, I guess, whether it's a third Golem, Giants, or, an, or more Valkyries. I mean, I, there you go, Giants. I thought it might be um, because Giants are good for their, because they'll go in and sort of start tanking those Inferno Beams. Mean he won't need to freeze um, that and be get further through that first inferno. Rage spell would be helpful here. I'd have dropped the rage spell a bit further over actually towards the town hall a little bit. Just said so they were in it for a little bit longer. Jump spells down. Doesn't need another rage spell now. Don't hold out on this. Too late. Should have dropped that rage spell down. Waiting for them, and um, there should have been no delay there because um, they would have burned burned through a lot quicker. But the biggest problem here is look how many Valkyries have ran around the edge. 
That's going to have hurt him. Imagine if they went into the core. Imagine if they went in the core under that rage spell. They'd have, they'd have torn through that entire section by now. Taking down the Expos, Infernos, everything. And he might have been able to get the three star even from it. But hasn't quite worked out that way. Um, there is a lot of point defence that's hurting him. It's a pretty high level Town Hall 11 in term, terms of the actual defence levels. Um, so good job there. Next I'm going to show is Samir. Um, one thing's apparent, okay? Town Hall 9 to Town Hall 11, Valkyries are overpowered or just ridiculously strong. Whether you're using mass Valkyries at Town Hall 9, whether you're just doing a Govaho variant, because of their attack speed and their damage per second and their all of that combined together with their HP and their speed, they are insane. Put that with a Rage or a Heal spell or both and you've got yourself a recipe for chaos. Look at this. Raging there. If he gets another Rage in now, things are going to get even more crazy. They are dying um, and he's getting quite a hit. I'd have probably thought a free spell would have been good. Um, and in fact, the Valkyries have fizzled out. But if he'd have done a slight bit of a better job in getting maybe stopping that second Inferno, he might have been able. Because you see, he's got a heal spell sat there. What's that heal spell doing now? Not much. Maybe he was waiting for the Valkyries to get past the Inferno um, and then then use the heal spell. But it might, or maybe he was waiting for the Hogs to use the heal spell. But that would have been better as a free spell on the Inferno Tower. Just kept those Valkyries alive t so that they could take more defences down. Maybe even healed the Valkyries. And if he ca if he could have, if he could have found a way, and then just dropped the Hogs to finish up the defences. So yeah, could have been. I think could have found a better use there. That that heal spell felt forced, and I think it's a little bit too much too late. And I think that Inferno Tower just killed too many Valkyries um, because he had a lot, and the, a lot just got fizzled out by the by the feel of it anyway. So, um, but the 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 uh, sorry, the facts remain. Govo is a solid two-star strategy as well. So even though the the raid was essentially a fail in what he was going for, probably with the three, he's still got a safe, t nice high percentage two-star, which is why it's such a fierce and dangerous strategy. Anyways, that draws a close to this video. Great war between the two clans. It was good to see some um, bases get some Town Hall 10 on Town Hall 10 action. Um, I was able to bring one up onto the board and Optimus Crime was able to drop a three. I got bullied, a uh, bit rude, but happened. So yeah, good to see um, um, a strong war between two very good clans. And unfortunately, um, Powercock were not able to pull it through on the Town or 9 performance, but maybe next time. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll catch you later. Peace.